So we're given this integral and they want us to calculate its value. So first we're going to do the inside and integrate with respect to z. So 1 is just going to be z. And let's go ahead and evaluate it. So first we're going to plug in 25 minus x squared minus y squared. And then for z equals 0, it's just going to be 0. Okay, so now we want to integrate with respect to y. The 25 and the x squared are just like constants here. So they're just going to become 25y and x squared y. y squared is going to integrate to be 1 third y to the third. Okay, so first we're going to plug in 4 for y. 4 times 25 is 100. Okay, minus 4x squared minus 1 third times 4 to the third is 64, so 64 thirds. All right, now we're going to plug in y equals 2. So subtract 50. Add 2x squared and add 8 thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these terms up here. So 100 minus 50 is just going to be 50. And then fractions. Negative 64 thirds plus 8 thirds is going to be negative 56 thirds. And negative 4x squared plus 2x squared is negative 2x squared. And then we still have to integrate with respect to x. So 50 becomes 50x. Oh, let's combine these first. So 50 minus 56 thirds is 94 thirds. All right. So 94 thirds is a constant, so when I integrate it, it's just 94x over 3. And then 2x squared becomes 2 thirds x to the third. Then let's evaluate that from x equals 2 to x equals 1. Plug in my 2's first. And I have 188 over 3 minus 2 thirds times 8. So minus. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract 94 thirds and add 2 thirds. which equals 80 thirds, and that's our answer. So now we're moving on to part B of the problem, which asks to sketch the projection into R2. So to think about the projection into R2, think about a spotlight shining down the z-axis, and we're going to be looking for the shadow. So I've rewritten our bounds here, which will help us. So let's work on x first. It goes from x equals 1 to x equals 2, so let me draw those two lines. x equals 1. And x equals 2. So since we're in R2, the other one we're going to sketch is the y component. So we have y going from 2 to 4. So let me go ahead and draw y equals 2. 
from y equals 4. So our projection into R2 is going to be this rectangle that those two lines enclose. So let's think about that as we move on to part C, which asks us to sketch the solid so in R3. So first, let's think about this projection into R2. Here's our positive x and our positive y. So I'm just going to draw that rectangle again. Now, we're bound by z equals 0 and z equals 25 minus x squared minus y squared. So z equals 0 is just the xy plane. So we're only going to be looking up. 25 minus x squared minus y squared is a paraboloid. So it looks kind of like an upside down bowl. So I'm going to draw my lines up, kind of get a rough idea. So the peak of this paraboloid is going to be on the z axis. So we're going to have a high point at this back vertice of the rectangle, and then it'll come down. So something like that. 